hello guys we are back with our next lecture in this lecture let us go through the concept of a concept of a cloud service life cycle guys okay so for this also i did not find up that much a clear information right like in terms of definitions and all those things so i'll be sharing you the def, uh, the diagram and i'll be explaining you in term, in terms of my own words guys so basically if it comes in examination let us write for like write in our own words only for now if i find any answer related to be for this answer i'll be sharing it guys so don't worry okay yes so basically we are discussing about cloud service life cycle right so what is the first thing that you will do guys so whenever you think of an idea and you want to implement it you will be searching for some cloud service providers and you will checking their portals right yes so the first stage starts here guys okay so the customer requests services via portal so basically with the portal you will check the service catalog and you will send your request to them that i am i am interested in building these type of applications can we build those applications in your service and is is it approved right like uh, any kind of issues are there any kind of privacy policies are there in that way okay so you will be checking from them so once you checked and they told that okay you can build with us so once that process is done you will start creating your template services and you will be modifying them as per your requirements so what you need how much storage you need oh all those things you will check guys okay so once that checking is done you will be defining the sla okay and service co contract so basically sla is a contract you can say okay yes so that contract you will sign guys so basically i am going to upload these things i am going to do that i am going to do this you will be writing an agreement and it will be finalized okay so once that is done so the service creation and provision will be given for you so basically whatever contract you have given so basically you your payment and everything will include there itself guys so once everything is done they will start providing you the things so the storage so the rams so and everything they will be assigning to your account okay so once that is done service optimization and customization so now you will be deploying your application and everything will be done after that you will be starting your optimization and customizations got it yes so at the same time the management maintenance governance and everything will be taken care of them okay and at the end the service retirement will be done so basically after few years your contract will expire and again you will be coming back to the start so basically you will uh, uh, re recontinue your contract that is nothing but uh, i i don't know exactly what word they call they use some word guys i don't remember exactly so you will be repaying for the exact same contract or you can just leave it and let it expire and you can create your new contract and you can start the journey again so this is a simple flow chart guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right because i did i also did not find that much of theory okay yes so anyway in the next lecture let us discuss about some popular service providers of cloud so we'll be mainly discussing about aws guys because that's the most popular and even every one of us heard about aws right yes. so that's the reason why let us discuss about the aws in the next lecture okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching